Hi guys, I thought today's video I'd just put together three quick cards. Um, I'm going to use Lawn Fawn's Lovable Leg Legends, which I've shown there, um, to stamp and colour the uh, images, those images that are shown there. I'm also going to use some old school um, Cuttlebug Divine Swirls uh, embossing folder as well as, um, and I'm just showing you which one that is, <laughs> um, as well as the uh, Seeing Spots Cuttlebug embossing folder and a Stamping Up Making Waves or something, you'll see in a second, um, embossing folder just for an added touch in the background. Um, this is Seaside, beg your pardon. So some of these are retired, some of them are ones that I've had for donkey's years, but I think that's the other thing is to, you know, go back into your stash, have a look at what you've got and see what you can do with those things that you have. Um, so you get the most use out of them. Um, there I was just showing you, I was using some Spellbinders, classic uh, scallop circles, just for again, another element on it. Um, within the double slider, I'm using just one part of it as a label. Um, I can't remember if it's actually a label in that die set but I'm using it as a label <laughs> for this particular thing. Um, I decided to use some Prismacolors. Um, Prismacolors are kind of like a, I want to say like a wax based pencil so you can use them on their own and you can blend with them together um, but you can also use them with Gamsol or um, I use low odour mineral spirits um, and a blending stump. So it's basically a paper stump. You'll see it in a second when I when I've done the pencil part. Um, you'll see in a minute. I'll, I'll use that with the um, mineral spirits, and what it does is it kind of dissolves the wax and helps it blend the colours together. So you'll see a lot of pencil colouring. You'll end up with lines, and I'm not an expert, obviously. So for me, pencil colouring is kind of something I need to work on quite a lot. <laughs> so. Um, but that's fine. That's part of part of the fun, um, and part of, you know practicing, and that's you know what makes you. For me, it inspires me to do more as well. So um, I'm just coloring in some hats. I thought they'd be kind of fun for them, <laughs> um, you know, because all creatures need a hat. <laughs> um, and I had stamped out some trees from the same stamp set in, um, I think I used a Lawn Fawn ink. Um, they're very new to me, so I've got the little ink cubes and I'm still learning, you know, the names of the colors. So for the life of me, I can't remember what color that was. I wanna say cilantro, but I may be wrong on that. So don't quote me on that. Um, so here you can see I'm using the blending stump and I just dip it into um, a jar that I have, which has a sponge in the bottom. Um, you can see in the top left corner there um, and that sponge absorbs the um, mineral spirits so as you put it into it it just sucks up the the mineral spirits and then you use it kind of you just color in with it basically um, I'm also using a sanding block which you just sand off the old color because what you don't want to do is transfer your colors from one project or one image to another so by just using the the little sandy block that you see in the in the frame there um, it just takes that previous color off and I quite like doing this um, I again I still need to practice more with this because it's something that I don't do often enough but it's you know it's a great I think it's a really neat kind of way to color in I think it's very different um, so here I'm using um, Pacific Point uh, Stampin' Up cardstock and Bermuda Bay for the layer that is embossed with the, um, I think there were seeing spots. And um, what I did was I just used, you know, matched up colors that I thought would work well with the each of the images. So one's, you know, the, the sort of, I can't remember the name of these things, <laughs> one that looks like Loch Ness. <laughs> Um, she's green so I just found colors that would work with her or like this guy's blue so I'm you know the Yeti I think that's what they call it um, he's in um, shades of blue as uh, so I used shades of blue in the um, you know for the background card and etc 
if that made any sense. <laughs> and then I'm just popping them on here. I thought it'd be kind of funny for them to hold a ship because they were supposed to be this like gigantic, um, you know, mythical creature, you know, and he's going to, you know, grab hold of this tiny little human ship. I just thought it was funny. And then this one, I'm going to stamp the words, you're a legend. So I thought that was kind of cute. <laughs> And that's why I'm saying that that piece that I'm using there, you don't have to have a die for that. You can easily, easily just stamp your image, your um, sentiment and then just cut using your paper trimmer around it into a block and you will do exactly the same thing. Um, I just was prepping this card quite a lot. So, you know, because I had three of them. So I just decided that was the easiest thing for me. Um, here I've got, I'm trying to think of the colours, I think I've got Crushed Curry, Stampin' Up Cardstock, and I want to say <laughs> Rich Razzleberry, maybe, I think, or Berry Burst, maybe, I'm not sure, but again, I, don't get too hung up on colours, um, you'll find what works for you and what's pleasing to your eye. Um, and yes, I went a bit overboard with the uh, <laughs> with the with the foam foam pads, but <laughs> I definitely don't want it to come off. Um, so here I'm, I'm doing it in a slightly different way. I'm layering each layer as a as it like from the card up, rather than before I layered up all the little creature onto the um, scallop circle and then put that on the card. Um, it depends what works for you. Sometimes I find that this that layering from the bottom of the card if you like up works better for me because I can get my eye in and get it things straighter than than normally so this one's what's a kraken I thought that was really funny um so yeah it, it depends what works for you what you want you know how you how you work some people will do everything on that first layer so like the embossed layer here um and then stick that entire panel onto their card base a lot of crafters do that actually and I kind of work the other way around so <laughs> it's just it's what works for you um here I used um <laughs> I'm gonna say that's tranquil teal uh, tranquil tide is what that one is so there are some colors here that are, like I say are retired now um but they weren't when I made the video but again it goes back to using what you've got so there's no wastage there's enough of that in the world isn't there so um and I think that was probably actually that light blue might be a Gina K color um and again she's she's not new to me but her you know having her cardstock and that is so I will um you know if you really really need to know what color that is I'll find out for you but I think it's one of her her colors because I think I'd run out of um one of my pale ones oh it might be balmy blue actually balmy blue is a new color and they well new for me but new to stampin up so that might be that might be what it is again colors are what you sort of fancy you know what is pleasing to you and pleasing to your eye and what works for you so um to me these colors worked quite well together um doing three at a time i gotta say was a little more painful <laughs> because you're trying to think of all the colors for all the different things so maybe don't do three at a time if that stresses you out a bit but I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you can like subscribe and uh, join me for more fun on my uh, crafty journey I'll see you in the next one guys bye